Apple just released the sixth developer beta of iOS 26. Here is everything new, including a first look at a bunch of new ringtones. Let's get into it. Real quick, if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Apple news and reviews, hit that subscribe button. So beta 6 comes roughly a week after developer beta 5. We're getting much closer to the final release of iOS 26 in September. Where there is no public beta yet of this build, but that should be coming in the next day or so, so be on a lookout for that. Now there are actually a bunch of new features and changes here. I was a little bit surprised this far in the beta cycle, so let's go ahead, jump into it. So here we are, iOS 26 developer beta 6. Let's go ahead and walk through all the new features and changes. Starting out, we're looking at the lock screen. You'll notice that the time up here has more of a liquid glass effect, like was shown off at Dub Dub. You can see here on this thicker wallpaper that it has more of like that shimmer to it, that liquid glass effect that people were hoping to see and we had not seen in the earlier betas. There's just like those highlights that are going around on there. I really like it. I think it looks really nice. It's not as noticeable on the thin ones, but it's definitely still there. It's definitely an addition since the last beta. Here in the camera app, Apple added this new navigation system down here at the bottom of the app. It's a little weird, I guess, but you kind of hold and as you drag, you're moving between the different modes. You're essentially moving what is underneath of that little glass highlight there. So in the previous beta, Apple had added an option inside of the settings to revert to like the previous way that you scrolled. Now Apple has removed that. So there's no longer a toggle inside of the camera settings. So you're just stuck with how Apple has it right now inside of the camera app. We have a few new splash screens this time around. We have one here in photos. They are touting the new updated navigation that allows you to move between the library and collection views, more customization for those collection and spatial scenes that you can create from your photos. We may have also potentially gotten one for stocks. I have admittedly not opened the stocks app recently, but when I did open it, there was a new splash screen touting kind of some general stuff about it, but maybe this is being added with this beta ahead of iOS 26. Inside of messages, Apple has updated this new menu system. So you can tap in that right hand corner to pull up this menu where you can filter things. So you can view messages, spam, recently deleted, even drafts. And now Apple has removed the option for the unknown senders. Here's a side by side comparison. The old beta is here on the right and the new one is there on the left. The old one on the right has that unknown senders option, whereas the one on the left does not have that option any longer. And if we go into message filtering on both of these devices, you'll notice options here. So we do have screen unknown senders turned on, which is supposed to send them to the unknown senders list, but I no longer see that list like we used to. We have also this allow notifications and text message filter. This possibly just because I don't have a SIM card in this one here on the right. But yeah, so that's a little bit of a change here for the messages. While we are looking at these, by the way, the toggles have been updated. Now they have a nice little animation when you tap on them. So that used to kind of show when you slid that over, that little glass pill would show up. Now that shows up regardless, uh, even if you just tap any toggle. If we go into notifications here and I go into my notification summary, this is now liquid glassified. This did not used to have the liquid glass effect. Now it does. So if you use the summary here, yeah, this has a new liquid glass effect to it. Upon setting up iOS 26 beta 6 for the first time, there's a whole new intro experience. It starts off by showing you like the camera control there on the side, reminding you that it does visual intelligence lookup, but then it walks you through liquid glass, some of the UI changes that have been implemented, things like moving the search bar down to the bottom, the navigation for uh, the camera app and other apps that have that move, that kind of navigation that hides away and then comes back. So it really just walks you through many of the new aspects of iOS 26. It's a nice little onboarding experience. Apple has actually added six new ringtones to this beta. So first we're gonna go into settings, then sound and haptics. Then we're gonna go down to ringtone. So most of the new additions are under this new reflection category. That used to be the default and then Apple in previous betas had added reflected. But now there are five additional ones. So let's walk through them really quick. Here is buoyant. Here is pond. Here is pop. Here is the reflected one. 
Here is Surge. And my favorite, Dreamer. In addition to all of those, Apple has also added a new one called Little Bird. Apps also have a new animation when you open and close them. So take a look, you can pull that up in there and swipe that down there. It's kind of like this genie effect where there's like some momentum to it and the app morphs, so up and then down and then down, and it depends on where they are, how that animation kind of changes. And you can see comparatively on the older update here, I can open it up. It opens from the same spot, but the animation is definitely different. How it goes down just kind of minimizes. So it, it's a much more, I don't know, dynamic animation in both opening and closing it. It definitely looks better. So that's it. That's what I found so far in iOS 26 developer beta six. Let me know down below in the comments if you spot any other changes and which of the new ringtones is your favorite. Be sure to sound off and vote. Otherwise, subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.